spot the difference. I'm going to show you how to make a spot the difference project where you're going to have different things inside of a picture that this image is the original. This is the original image. And then um, as I do this, you're going to notice there's a picture missing here and the background has changed over here on this layer. You're going to notice a baseball bat right here. There's a new baseball bat right here. If I get closer, you'll see the bat, right? There's the baseball bat. And then I also added, uh, I changed the flag here. I put the Dominican flag as opposed to the American flag because they're both red, white, and blue. And I figured it'd be easier for you to um, like not notice it as well. And then I put a donut over here on the light bulb. There's a donut there. I'm sorry, on the clock. So you got a little donut. And on the donut, you can, uh, I messed up one little thing here. I'll just erase that little spot right there. Doo -doo -doo. There you go. Now, so now you got a donut there. So let's back out a little bit. All right, let me show you guys how to start this project and um, how to accomplish this. So first things first, I'm just going to set up the document for one second as though you imported a picture in, which would be just your original picture. It's not going to have all these layers. Here's how it starts. Stand by. You're going to start with this image, an image like this one, rather. It could be anything that you want. All right. By the way, when you're searching for these images, it could be a dining room. It could be a baseball stadium. It could be a field. It could be anything you want. I just happen to have chose my classroom. You could even do a person's face, but then it's tough because you have a uh, you know, limited amount of details you can do on a face. A scenery is a lot easier to do. So you're going to open up an image and you're going to put it in. It's going to say background. You're going to click on the image and you're going to click off the lock. All right. You're going to duplicate the layer. Now you got two layers. The first one, you're going to double click on the words, call it background. The next one you're going to call this one is going to be a copy. All right. So now we'll start with the copy first. All right. Now that we understand that, let's start with the copy first. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background over here. I'm going to click on the copy layer. This background layer never gets changed. On the copy layer, I'm going to click on the clone stamp tool. After I've clicked on the clone stamp tool, you could change the size and how big you want it, whatever in here, the size of the, the, the area that you're trying to copy from. Once you click on copy, click on the clone stamp tool, and I'm going to hold Alt, click over here, and now I'm going to copy this information over here. So whatever's on the left side, it's copying to the right. And you're going to notice I am literally changing the way that the building looks in here. So there you have it. So now I have just basically cloned a different building in there. There you go. Very subtle. If I do this, you can see that the building has now changed. And that is by clicking on the stamp tool, holding Alt, and whatever size this bullseye connects to is the size of the circle that is going to be on your clone stamp. So that's the clone stamp tool. So we're going to change the background, the window of the background, right? Next thing I'm going to do is I want to erase this photograph in here. Whoops. I want to erase this. So watch this. Holding Alt, I'm going to click over here, and I'm just going to copy this part right over here. And I'm going up and down, and I'm deleting the, wind, the uh, picture frame. Boom. Now the picture's gone. There's the original background change, and the picture is now gone. Easy, easy, easy to do so far, right? So we now erase the um, photograph. Now, I'm going to show you how to make this clock right here. I'm going to make it into a donut. I'm going to put a donut over here. So I'm going to go on to the Internet. I'm going to get a donut. I found my searches already to save time. I'm going back into Photoshop. I'm going to hit Control-V, Paste, Control-T. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. I'm going to grab the corner and shrink it shrinking it down boom i am now going to click on the magic wand tool click on the outskirts hit delete i'll click on this part hit delete and this part hit delete even the middle in here and hit delete now i'm going to hit Control d and Control t shrinking the clock from the corner without holding shift if you hold shift you'll be able to shrink it in a bit more right right to about here and now i've made the donut I could change it a little bit like this, you know. Uh, I'm going to put it like right about there. I like that. Now I'm going to double click and back out. Hold Alt. And you can back out even further. Right. And now 
I have a donut that's changed on the clock. Now the donut is so bright, right? I'm going to double click on this, call it donut. Now check it out. On the donut one, I'm going to hit uh, control L. I'm going to lower the levels of the donut a little bit because it is such an eyesore. So I'll like play with this one and the other one. I'll leave it there and I'll just lower it a little bit. There you go. Now the donut's not sticking out as bright. So there's the original so far and there's the new one. We got a donut. We changed, erased the picture, added a picture over here. All right. So now we got a donut. All right. Um, we use the magic wand, the free transform, and the levels. Now I want to change this flag over here. So check it out. I'm going to put a red, white, and blue flag. I chose the Dominican flag. So for the Dominican flag, I'm going to right click, copy image. I'm going to go back into Photoshop, Control V, paste, Control T, grab the corner. See how that like thing comes like uh, on a diagonal thing? That means I could change the size this way. Holding Shift, um, not holding Shift, rather, grabbing a corner and shrinking it, coming up here. Now check this out. As I get click on the magnifying glass, I'm going to get closer. Now watch this. Hold Control T on this layer, which I'm going to double click, call it Flag. On the flag layer, I'll hit Control T. Watch this. Holding Control, you can grab a corner, and look at that. You can put this corner over here. I'll put this corner over here, and then I'll take this corner, and I'll put it over here, and this corner, and put it over here. See how this part is like sticking out? We could fix that. Click on this mesh tool, and now you can drag it down a little bit. Boom. And there you have it. Double click out. And now you got the flag. Um, holding alt. You can back out a little bit more just to see how what's going on. The flag is super bright. Control L. Lower. You can play with this a little bit. You know, lighten it a little. And you can also darken it a little. I'm going to lighten the flag up a little bit. Or I'll play with this, this menu here. The levels menu. I'll darken it a little and move it around. We'll move it this way maybe. I'm thinking this is good. That's legit. Hit OK, and boom. Now I've changed the flag. I've added a donut on the clock right here. Donut on the clock. And I have taken away this image, and I've added this image. Here's my original. There's my new one. Now, lastly, I want to put a baseball bat on this leg. I'm going to make this leg into a baseball bat. No problem. So I'm going to click on the... I'm going to go to Google. I already found a nice wooden bat. I'm going to copy this image, and I'm going to go back into Photoshop. I'm going to go Edit, Paste. Got the baseball bat. Click right here, the Magic Wand tool. Click on the background, Delete. Control-D is Deselect, Control-T. Go to the corner. I'll flip it the right way. I'm going to scroll back up. Shrink it a little bit more. Coming up here. And I'm going to slowly move the bat. Now I have a baseball bat hidden in there. Now, I'll be honest, that bat looks really good in there. If I wanted to, I can also play with the levels and stuff like that. So as I back away, whoopsie, as I back away, you'll notice I now have, I got to name this layer. I'll call it bat, baseball bat. Baseball bat. All right, now, check it out. There is your bat in here. Here is your flag right there. That's your flag. And there you have a donut. And then I got rid of the... Oopsie. Show the background. I got rid of this picture, and I added this image in here. See? That's the original. And here are the components that I added one by one the bat is a very subtle one some things you want to hide and add are you know it depends on it now there's other uh, one other thing you can do which is kind of cool so check this out watch this see this tile right here I'm gonna go into the copy layer I'm gonna get close to it now you've learned this from the car project that I do with you guys so check this out on this one right here I'm gonna change the color of this tile watch how we do I'm going to click here. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to slowly go around. And watch this. 
I'm highlighting the tile. Now check this out. I'm going to hit Control U, and I'm going to change the color of this tile to like a red, or maybe uh, it's already green. I'll make it a blue tile like that by changing the hue saturation menu and hit OK. Hit Control D, Control Zero. Now check it out. As we get in here, we'll get back out a little bit. So there you go. I've changed the tile color. I've added the photo. Gone. Photo is history. I've added this background. I cloned it here. You could also put a different building in there the same way you do the bat. Here's the Dominican flag I've put as opposed to the original flag that was there. And then as we come in there, there's the baseball bat. Last thing you could do is you could put like a sun in here and you could do anything you want. Now, really quickly, just so you guys have some inspiration for different things you could do. When you guys are searching for stuff, like the backgrounds, you could type in dining room. Boom. And you're going to get a whole bunch of different rooms you could choose from. You know, it's pretty cool. You could do um, a baseball field. When you type in baseball field, you know, you have like uh, stuff like this. You could do a field of something. You could change the words in here. You know, um, you could put add people in here. So there's a lot of different ways you can approach this project. But the bottom line is make sure that you know which tools you should use for what. So we got the baseball bat in here. We got a flag that was changed over here. We got the donut right there. And over here, I've changed the floor on the copy layer. I have taken away this picture right here from the original. And I added, I cloned this building over here using the stamp tool over here. And that's it. Um, this is meant to be a fun project. This is exactly how when you go into like a, you know, a pub or you go into an arcade or something where they have spot the difference. This is exactly how they do it. There's your original. And there's your other one. Now, I want you to keep the original background fully intact. And other than that, that's it. Enjoy this.